Uh, hello. How do you feel about Million Dollar Extreme's World Peace being cancelled? Oh, it's so sh such a shame. Poor Sam. Um, no, I mean, I... It's a perfect example of... Uh, you know, I think, he's, I think he tweeted... This is a show on Adult Swim. Um, claimed to be a sort of alt-right TV show, but he never really, he never really talks about politics. He's just a shitlord, you know. He's just a, he's just a, he's just a, a trolley, meme comedian. Um, and he got cancelled because um, Adult Swim actually don't have the same politics the rest of the, of the entertainment industry have, and I think people made complaints about it. And that um, odious BuzzFeed blogger Joe Bernstein, um, who has been troll, what was that? Blockhead. He is a blockhead. <laughs> Deeply stupid person. Um, you know, typical, it's a typical example, and I hate to say this, but since, since, since there are my people, I guess I can. It's a typical example of a sort of, of a, you know, thick as pig shit media Jew who has all the sort of right PC politics, um, you know, and it, totally predictable opinions on absolutely everything, but just really stupid, um, and seems to be driven by sort of social acceptance and political correctness rather than actually telling any interesting stories or doing anything worthwhile. Uh, but Bernstein's typical of that sort of, in, of, that, of that impulse in the media. Um, he sort of went on this crusade about Sam Hyde, and because after, after Sam Hyde had sort of humiliated him with a very funny video you should look up. Um, I think it's a shame when any free expression and creativity is censored at the behest of social justice warriors. Um, I think it was particularly a shame for Sam because his show was edgy and funny, but I think also that that period in culture is coming to an end, and I think that very soon um, we're going to see studios emboldened to laugh the social justice warriors off the face of the planet. Why? Because Trump won, and these people aren't stupid, and they ultimately care about money, um, and Trump's victory has demonstrated there is a colossal market out there for people who really, really don't like feminism, political greatness, social justice, and all the other cancers that have infected American public life. There's a huge market for it, and there will be studios who are happy to capitalize on that and profit on it. And I think once that happens, it'll, it'll all be over very quickly, in the next 12 months, I would say. So it's a shame, but I think you'll get a show somewhere else eventually.